In this video, I'm just going to show you the basics of how to easily swap a motherboard and processor. So if you're upgrading your gaming system or you're just replacing a motherboard in a dead computer, you can follow these same basic instructions and they'll work for just about any machine. So whether you're just doing a regular basic machine or a high-end gaming machine, the concepts are the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove anything that's plugged into the board. That way you can get to the main board to swap it out. First thing is your memory sticks right here. Generally, they're gonna have some kind of banana clip that you just pop out and they will just generally pop right out of the system just like that. Next thing you wanna do is gonna remove any graphics cards you have plugged in. So I'm going to remove the thumb screws that allow you to attach it to the case and then unplug it from power and just simply remove the card. Now it is very important to mention that when you're taking these components out, don't set them on anything that could produce static. Certainly don't put them on carpet or any kind of linen. Ideally, you wanna put it on some kind of hard tabletop. That way you can avoid any static discharge because a static discharge will definitely fry your components and then you're in for a bad day. So now that I've got those out, the next thing I wanna do is remove my 24 pin connector, power connector. Just pinch it and pull it right out. This comes from your power supply and provides power to the board. I'm leaving the power supply in because I'm not replacing it. So I'm just gonna pull it out, set it aside. Now I also have SATA connectors here for my drives. I'm gonna to need to remove those. Just literally pull them out just like that. And they just pop right out. And just set those aside. If you have a system that has motherboard powered fans, you'll see you have a connection like this that connects directly into the motherboard. Little three pin connector here. Just pull it out and set it aside. I've got my CPU fan right here with its power connector. And you wanna be very careful when you pull these out, don't yank them, just pull them gently. They will come right off, just like that. That's the connector for the CPU fan. Got another fan connector here for this case fan. Pull it right out, just like that. And of course, you're always gonna have all these miscellaneous fan cables that plug into the motherboard. And you can tell by the pin notches how they line up on the new board. These right here can get a little tricky. These are your LED lights. So generally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a photograph of that. Sometimes you get lucky and everything's labeled for you. See, power LED, positive and negative. But in this case, they're labeled, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Now, generally every motherboard is gonna have anywhere from four to six screws holding it in. These are just screws that hold the motherboard to the frame. So once we got the screws all out, the motherboard just lifts right out of the system. But one thing you definitely wanna do before you start putting this thing back together, you have these set screws that your new board screws into. These things actually go into the frame where the motherboard will actually screw down. Okay, so now I have all my set screws in place. I'm going to very carefully set the motherboard down and make a point not to touch any of the circuitry. Hold it from the outside edges. Basically don't touch anything that looks like it might be metal. So you get it set in there, line it up on top of those screw holes, and now it's time to screw everything back in. There we go, the new board is in place and it's not moving. So at this point, you basically just wanna reverse the earlier process, start plugging everything back in. She comes to life. So if this video helped you, make sure you click on that like button for me. It really helps my channel and allows me the opportunity to make more videos like this for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna watch more disassembly videos, click on the playlist on your left. If you wanna let YouTube decide what you should watch next, click the video on the right. We'll see you next time.